Boston Celtics center Enos Cantor taking a stand against China and its leader Xi Jinping for oppressing the people of Tibet. Tibet belongs to Tibetans. I'm here to add my voice and speak out about what is happening in Tibet. Brutal dictator of China, Xi Jinping, I have a message for you and your henchmen. I will say it again, again, and again, loud and clear. I hope you hear me. Free Tibet, free Tibet, free Tibet. I might add free Hong Kong as well. The communist regime is now retaliating, pulling the team's games from their streaming platforms. Of course, it's China. Joining us now to react is Outclick founder, uh, Clay Travis. Clay, uh, the response of China has already been they're going to take action, but I want to know, why was Cantor the first one and the only one to take this stand? Well, it's, first of all, thanks for having me. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. And I think you have to give a lot of credit to Enos Cantor for stepping yeah. out there. Remember, a couple of years ago, Daryl Morey, then the general manager of the Houston Rockets, yeah. tweeted free Hong Kong. Mm -hmm. And basically everything fell apart in yeah. terms of the relationship between the NBA and China. They're still trying to pick up the pieces. In fact, the 76er games, because Daryl Morey is now the GM of the Philadelphia 76ers, are still not shared. And all these NBA players have uh, wanted to say that they are activists. But guys, we've got NBA players playing in Chinese sneakers with Chinese sneaker deals that are actually made with slave cotton mm. from Muslim Uyghur uh, minority population there. And it's as if no one wants to pay attention to the inconsistency of speaking out on all sorts of American issues, denigrating our country, refusing to go visit the White House, but shutting up and dribbling for Chairman Z. And I give credit to Enos Cantor. And I'm not sure how many other NBA players, coaches, staff will sign up alongside of him, but you played that free Tibet video. Yesterday, he came out with an even more aggressive statement saying the Chinese government was guilty of genocide, that he wants for uh, the Uyghurs to be freed from the concentration camps in which they're held, have freedom of speech, freedom of religion, basic human rights, which they don't have right now in China. And I think this is a major issue, guys, not only because of the NBA's relationship, but remember, the Biden administration is going to send our athletes to mm -hmm. Beijing Such in point. February as a part of the Winter Olympics. Yeah. Guys, I don't think that makes sense at all. We are basically kowtowing to China when we need to be standing up to them. I give Enos Cantor credit. And guys, remember this. Enos Cantor's family was jailed in Turkey. Enos Cantor himself, Turkish citizen, not allowed to return to his home country because of his willingness to speak out sure. against the brutal leadership in that country. So this is a guy who knows a little bit about freedom and the benefits that we have in America compared to what the Chinese and the Turkish people, where he's from, don't have. Yeah, he sounds like a really brave person. Um, and you recall, no you, you brought out the Hong Kong, uh, when that tweet went out about Hong Kong, and it was LeBron James that kind of tried to tell players to, to be quiet yes. and go along because, you know, they, he knows his master. Um, my question to you is, what has been the reaction of the players and the owners um, to the, the, this doubling down of Ennis's um, statement? Most of them are pretending it doesn't exist, and <laughs> a, that's sad. But even sadder, I think, is there's a whole cottage industry of media that, are, that make their living covering the NBA. And these are the same people that every time LeBron James criticized a police officer or every time Steve Kerr ripped Donald Trump or Greg Popovich did the same, they were there writing down every word, and they made it a headline. You go on ESPN.com's website today, you know what you won't see? Any of Enos Cantor's statements about mm -hmm. Chinese oppression because I believe ESPN is protecting their relationship with the NBA and they know that China is going to be furious and they're trying to pretend that this story doesn't exist in a way that they never did every time Donald Trump was ripped, every time a police officer was attacked. I think it's shameful of the NBA media. I think it's pathetic. I think they are trying to uh, protect China and the NBA's partnership. I there. think it's gross, mm -hmm. actually. I think it's really gross. It is. It is. Uh, uh, Clay, I agree you, with you guys. We're, we, I think we can agree. College football, though, not gross, especially. <laughs> <laughs> That's es a great es segue. <laughs> especially on Fox, you've got the big noon kickoff: yes. Northwestern of Michigan, Oklahoma State, Iowa State. What do you like? 
Uh, look, I love uh, Northwestern to cover that game. I like Oklahoma State to cover that game. And, guys, this is an awesome event. I heard you talking about uh, the Patriot uh, Awards, which I'm going to be down at. Also, awesome. encourage people to check it out. But we got a couple of things. Uh, we have a documentary going up on Fox Nation. I know your wife, Jen, uh, I hope she's going to like it, Pete, uh, <laughs> because uh, I think we got a pretty good show there. Uh, and that debuts today. You can get a free 30-day pass at Fox Nation if you just use the code OUTKICK. So go to foxnation.com, use OUTKICK. You can can check it out but we're doing something really important we're at the uh, i'm at luke bryan's house as soon as i finish this hit i'm going straight to luke bryan's farm he's doing an all-day charity event we're going to be live with big noon kickoff with luke bryan this morning uh, and he's doing it for the brett boyer foundation it's pediatric heart research his niece died tragically a few years ago and so they are doing everything they can raising millions of dollars uh, to help fight uh, that disease and to help everybody out there with congenital heart failure pediatrics uh, all over this country and so we're going to be there all day with Fox trying to do uh, a good deed with him and many other people there uh, and so it's going to be a heck of a day and I hope people will enjoy that in a little while on Fox as they get ready for the day of college football. Such a great cause Clay. The big noon kickoff show also we folks can download the Fox Bet Super 6 app and enter for a free chance to win 25,000 bucks. All you got to do is pick six outcomes from today's college games and watch to see it all plays out. It is free to play. Clay Travis, you're the man. He's got double duty. Yeah. Appreciate yeah. y'all. Have a good morning. Thanks, yeah. Clay. Thanks, Clay. Appreciate it. Do you think he'll forgive me for calling them the Celtic Celtics? <laughs> Celtics? We should have asked him that. Yeah, <laughs> that's okay. You're forgiven. All right. All right.